Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. First thing I see here, we got some bubble wrap. Good, nice, clean stuff. We'll grab that before we head out of here. What's it looking like? Uh, got a fish tank. Nice. Thank you. Cool. Pretty heavy one, too. Does that go with it? Um, it might. I don't know. I'd be willing to wager so. I All bet, right. I bet. Put that there, then. Let's see what else we got in here. Go peek around on the other side while she's over there. Well. Let some light in. Oh. Okay. Not seeing anything. Me neither. Bubble wrap. This is the good stuff too. Awesome. Okay. All right, for what this one's worth, we haven't found anything in here in a long time. Are you kidding me? Wow, let's just say that every time. That is a nice furniture dolly. Yay. I know there's another one. just go for whatever this is worth we never find anything in here and then boom all right she said the one she had said broken wheel but put a new wheel on anything Looks like it. Cool. I'm a happy dude. Ugh. Let's go see what's in here. Oh dear. Looks like the heat's already out this stuff. We got some old doll stuff. Old radio. A bunch of illegal dumpers. Bunch of that illegal dumpity dump. It looked like it was an old table or something in there. Antique ish. Some panes of glass. Yeah. Not my cup of tea. How about you? Mm -mm. Somebody else would come along and get these, though. 
Because you know they will. Yeah. I'm not really interested in clothes. Just leave a couple pieces hanging out in the door as a red flag. Somebody will stop and pick them out. There. Let's roll. Mm. Strangely enough, it smells like banana bread in here. Oh, man. Bummer, dude. has unfortunately just rained so I don't know there's a lot of stuff under those bags too it should be dry let's go look horrible bosses uh -uh. I love that movie there's a GameStop thing get it an Xbox 360 plants versus zombies you want the, the movies? Grab it all. Well, it's up for the CD. Though. Yeah, because yeah, those look like crap ones anyway. It's all I see underneath. There's a bunch of CDs, really. There's a Saturday Night Live. Oh. Where? Say anything? No, but I don't have a chance at anything either. Get ran off when yeah. billions come through your dumpster dive either. missing some stuff on the top and in the back. That's really nice though. Yeah, it is. And I'm afraid it's been rained on. Oh, wow. That's cool. See if rugs are good when you find them in the trash. Well, there's only one way. Yes. Sniff it. Did yeah. it pass the test? Huh? Did it pass yeah. the test? dumpster so we decided to go and run the neighborhoods to see thank you dear if we could find any cool stuff on the curb we found that big uh like we found like the big wardrobe uh, but it was missing the top and the upper back piece it was there but unfortunately it was laying on the ground and it had been rained on so we just decided not to uh not to mess with it not sure if we would have even been able to get it home in one piece but somebody's sitting behind that dumpster now behind it. Yeah. Like taking a break or what? Yeah. Dumpster time. Oh boy.
trying to dig out what's in this box. Interesting. Let's see if we can get that whole box out. actually. I want to see what else is in the box as if those are slides. That's pretty old. Oh dude, I just found the best books ever. Oh look at this guys. That is absolutely awesome. Japan. It's a big nose thing. You know, you oh yeah. What was that? That box just fell. This is your friend. Nice. You want it? Yep. What? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I was moving it out of my way so I could see what was in here. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncy ball. So I was really curious. Oh my gosh, Jojo Siwa. <laughs> Who are you? 
The Roaring Twenties, 1968. Mardi Gras. Oh, Mardi. Well, too shiny. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. Another one of those fruit bowls. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, what are you? Old Pottery Company. Hmm. And Pyrex. No way. All oh, right. yeah. Here you go. Um, is there a crate or anything we stand on? The old pottery company. I don't know what that is. Some more stuff. And you kind of see down here. Oh, I just need something to stand on to get to it. Cool Pyrex. Guess what? We got Pyrex. <laughs> I think I did anyway. Some of the toys all in my way. Ooh, that's broke. What's this? So I need to be careful then. Oh, okay, that's what I saw. A broken cup. This crap. A wallet. What is that? Genuine leather is what it says on it. You want the wallet? Yeah. It says genuine leather on it. What else you see? Um, I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything else. Breakable. Oh, that's cute. I'm kind of finding that those dishes down in here. I'm just wondering what else could be in here. What the heck is that? <laughs> that's I don't know what that is, but it obviously works. It's just a little purse thing. Here, huh? Yeah, it should be fine right there. I've got like so many toys and crap on the side, but obviously if you dig underneath it, you can find stuff. What the heck is that? Oh, a bowl thing. <laughs> Flashlight. Old tiny kind, huh? Another one. This one doesn't work. Alright. Did you find much of anything good? A couple of things, for sure. Yeah? Dang. Huh? I wonder what's in that barrel right there. I don't know. I was wondering that myself. I was trying to pull it and I was like, where? Maybe we'll try and pull it in it just out. a minute. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it and see what could possibly be in it. Countryside Stoneware Collection Japan. <laughs> That's that cute, yeah. Just a little cup. A tiny one. Another Hallmark cup. Give that to Aaron. You know how he likes his little cups like this. Mm -hmm. Back in here. So you're already done? Yeah. You know so. spin? Hey. Pick up your Uno cards and hang out. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, Uno with the kids when I get home. Look. SpongeBob. 2012. I can't love that. Funny. Okay. What's in here? It's fragile. It's so fragile, it's in the dumpster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here you go. 
Whoa, that's a lot of figurines and stuff in here. No way. Oh my gosh, Adam. Look at all this. What? Oh, oh, look at it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Sweet. Heck yeah. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. That is awesome, dude. Ain't it? Yeah. What is that? Damn it. What is what? What was in that box? Hey, let me skip this over a little bit. Ah, there we go. That box is just books. This is some weird gown. Huh. <clears throat> Interesting. I know. I really want to pull that barrel out. Yeah? Okay, just let me look over here real quick and then we'll get the barrel. What do you think's in it? I don't know. Oops. This seems something. pretty heavy. Oh, it's a little teacup. I bet that goes to that bag in there. Yep. Or in that box. Oops. Seeing much else? That's what I'm trying to see. Freaking box in there, a little bit. VHS tapes. What? They're definitely wet. I'm just, let's see. let's see. Luckily, the books I found were not wet. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. That was a photo album. Tossed it aside. Can't wait to see those figures you drove through. I know. I wonder what all's in there. I'm excited. I don't know. Sloppily. I feel like I've heard of that before. Yeah, it felt a little pretty dang heavy. Okay, cool. I hope I can get it. Bet you can definitely get that. Well, watch out, let me try. Let's see what we can do here. like a bunch of toys. Yeah. We'll take them. Maybe there's some collectible ones in there. I got the joke. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leave it right there. Okay, ready? Sure. Oh, good stuff. Right that. That's an old cut. Right. We'll start off with this one right here. Okay. You can just read out the name as you go so people know what you're getting excited about. <laughs> ready? Awesome! Occupied Japan collectibles for sale. That's awesome. Yeah, right? Cool. There's more. Ready? <laughs> Toys, antique and collectible. Dude. Dang. What else? Another Occupied Japan collectible. That's too cool. Second series. Oh, cool. Is that Gene Florence? This one will be good too. Second series, Madam Alexander Collector's Dolls. Yeah. That's so awesome. Collector's Encyclopedia Toys and Banks. Yeah. Nice. That, that's one of the coolest things we could have found. I love that. And not only that, we Who's got that? the figures to go with it. The Walt Disney Company 1995 Annual Report. Huh. And another Occupy Japan? Really? Yeah. Isn't that's that cool? So cool. Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. People are always saying we need to read up on our stuff. 
those are awesome to find. Yeah, definitely. Now, surely so. they're probably a little bit outdated, but uh, it's a point of reference, if nothing else, right? Yes, that was cool. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's awesome, yeah. Toys, Occupied Japan, dolls. Awesome. Heck yeah, and a bunch of that stuff in there appeared to be dolls. Really? <coughs> we got the books to look them up. Probably came from the same place, to be honest with you. I know, that, definitely so. That's why I kept looking for any box that was in there. That's insane. I know. Wow. Are we done, or are we still looking? I think we should be done. Should we be done? Yeah. Or should we check a couple more? We I don't know, done. I don't care. We're we good. can be done. It don't yeah, matter. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we are back home. And I am about to go through this box and see what all is in here. One of the first things I had noticed is this awesome elephant. One thing I noticed about him is his tusk is broke. Um, underneath him actually says that he's in Japan, or made in Japan. I'm going to throw him on my shelf. Let's see what else we have underneath here. Looks like some little clowns. This is going to be a pretty good little box to go through. Too bad you're over there playing video games. I'm, 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 um, yeah. <laughs> Here is some sort of a doll. This looks like an old one. And they just put a little tag on it that says unmarked doll. Put your rattles. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Is that goofy? Uh-uh. Dude, this thing's heavy like lead or something. A little goofy. That's cool. I set him there. Oh my gosh, this is such a goodie box. Looks like a tiger on a shot glass. Some sort of a cat on something. Whoa. A doll in a cup that says Garden Angel. That came from Kmart. Yeah. We don't have Kmart no more. Not here, I don't think. Do we? I think there might still be a couple left. Mm -hmm. Here is this little figurine here. A little puppy dog. Unmarked. Here's another little dog. Has some sort of a marking on it. Homco. Made in... Homco? Homco, I guess. Cool. Made in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. I don't know if I know. Precious moments. Little teapot. Here's this that goes to a tea set. Oh. It has a little cake stand type tea set. Alrighty. Here's part of a tea set. There's a body. Oh, cool. This is going to be salt and pepper shakers. Hopefully the other one is here. It's like a garden type one. Wooden. That's old. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like we have some other sort of little figure. That is made in Spain. Muncast Belby made in Spain. That's a freaking killer box, dude. I know. <clears throat> and you know what's cool? There's stuff in here that is wrapped. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's this. Um, I'm not sure if this is a picture or it could be like a tea set piece. Aw, a donkey. What does that say? Made in Hong Kong. Whoa. An old little bicycle. Oh, cool. It looks like it winds up. Oh, how neat. Whoa, there's some more of these little figures. Here's a dog. What's that? Another made in Hong Kong. Cool. Another precious moment. It says March on it. What does this one say? April. Huh. Another figure. Made in China. Another part to a tea set. Another piece to a tea set. Ooh, that's an old figure. That's a Japan one. Wow, that's cool. Oh my gosh, is that a clown? That looks like a mean clown or something smoking a cigarette. Uh huh. Dude, he looks evil. Check that out. Look at his face. Looks like he's had a rough life. 
Ah, he's cool though. Oh, cool, a little die cast train mini one. Part of the tea set. Whoa, an old wind up B. Whoa, Adam. No Check him out. This dude is old. It says Hong Kong on it. Look at that. Look at his wings. Ah, no. Oh, no. I know. Look. Oh, now that's cool. Another figure. Here's another little figure here. Made in China. There's another one. Um, I guess that's the hair to something. We'll figure that part out later. Might be the clown. Here's an old little plastic doll. Man, what a goodie box. Some salt and pepper shakers. Little orange kitty cats. <laughs> so cute. <coughs> Here's this lady. Looks kind of crazy. Still has her paper on her. Melancholy dolls. Dollies? Never heard of those. Oh. Looks wooden. Hard. Actually. Here's a, another clown from mine. Here's some other figures here. Dang, we got more little figures. And another part of the tea set. Put that all together later on and see if that's even all there. Oh my god. Gosh, that's an old dog. Hey. Oh, whoa. Dang, that thing looks really old. And it has a little chain on it like it had puppies tied to it at one point in time. Oh, my. I know what that is. I forget what it's called, though. Oh, yeah? I'm calling it old. <laughs> Ooh, that's like a handmade fish. And that sucker's old and literally like falling apart. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet this is the stand that the salt and pepper shakers go on. Look. Hey, yeah. Too cool. Here's a figure. Oh, it's Japan, too. <laughs> Cute. Go ahead and cut so it doesn't do like. Alrighty, now let's see here. Here is another figure holding the kitty cat. Oh, that's cute. Little squirrel. <laughs> oh, teddy bear. It's a Snickers teddy bear. No kidding. Yeah. What is that? Is that Mars made in China? It'd be cool to see all that stuff on the shelf all laid out, you know? I know. Yeah, Mars. Uh, 1967. Uh oh. Yeah, that's ah, so cool. Look. Snickers. That's cool. That's a collectible, man. For 1967. 1967. Here's another figure. Sayer, quit growling. Here's another one. I've never seen those before. What is that? Brooklyn, New York, made in China. Okay. Aww, it's a little puppy dog. Can't think of what that one's called. Here's this. Another part of the tea set. Another part of tea set. Here's this little pig. That's cute. Whatever MJD sign this. MJD sign. Where did that came from? Oh, July of 93. That's cute. Oh. Aw. Wait, no, that ain't broke, is it? 
Well, that's just part of it. It says Japan on the bottom of it. That's an old little dog figure. Sager, knock it off. A little wooden chair. Whoa, that teddy bear. Wow, that thing's old. His arm's broken though. But he sure is an old one. Wow, here's another little wiener dog. Oh my gosh. Oh Unbelievable. Unbelievable giant. Here's some more of the little Precious Moments teapots. There's May, so there's three of them. That's a whole set to, oh, whoa, whoa, Adam, Mickey, Donald, whoa, no. old. Look. Those are so heavy, is that lead? I don't know. Oh, that's an old little panda bear. I think these are cast iron. Oh, um, where's Goofy? Goofy's in the chair somewhere. Where did I put him? You got another one just like this? Yeah, they're Goofy. He's a little goofy. I'll have to find him. He's bare. Oh, here he is. Got him. You can put him in the bag. <laughs> Dang. I know, right? Isn't that cool? Here. Yeah. I don't want to put him in the bag again just yet. I want to wrap him up. <laughs> That's so cool. I know. I can't see what else is in here. Those are incredible. I know. It's three. It's odd. Uh-huh. Is that one of the seven dwarfs? Looks like it. I don't know which one. I don't know. It says Disney. Huh. Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> oh, I oh, shouldn't have done that. No, 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 no. Go lay down. <laughs> no. That's cool. Gosh, man, this is awesome. There's another oh, one of the Lord. precious moments. So there's four of those. There's five. I ain't done yet. <laughs> there's a figure. There's still more in there? Yes! Isla. Oh, that's an old cat. Oh, here she goes. Okay. She hears squeaks and she just freaks out. Look, 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 look. This is dog. Oh, what's this dog? Oh, that's cute. Little rocking chair thing. Got mouse in the chair. Those are cool. Home sweet home. I've never seen nothing like those before. Those are really light. No, Milo, get your snuggle back. Oh, here's a cat. It was a dollar made into one. Two for a dollar. That was a while ago. <laughs> That's old. Another one of these. I think this makes number six. It's November. It'll be seven July precious moments. Oh, okay. Whoa. It's another one of these things. It's just melting basically. Whoa. That's cute. A shoe. What's that say? Something China, A C P C O. Ooh, a dead lizard in that. Uh -oh. Surprise! Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Well, that was great. Okay. And now we have this weird cat. That thing's huge. Come on, Myla. Kitty, kitty, kitty. What? <laughs> this is too cool. It's an Breakable cat with wire whiskers in Milo's nose. <laughs> I'm trying to sniff it. That is it in this box. I cannot believe there was a dead lizard in there. This is a stinking cool box. Big time. 
it's a little bit later since Stacy showed you the uh, box full of stuff and man, what a box it was that was pretty incredible all that stuff in there definitely wasn't expecting that but it just goes to show you never know what you're gonna find in the trash right uh, we got a couple more things back here we got this big nice rug I think I think we're gonna take it to the car wash tomorrow and uh, go ahead and spray it out and then we'll uh, lay it out in the Sun and let it dry um, but it is pretty clean it doesn't stink or anything like that and what is that like an eight-foot rug these things are stupid expensive so uh, we'll, like I said get it all sprayed out at the car wash and get it looking probably pretty close to new maybe we'll pull like the old shampooer out or something but uh, it'll be a nice rug to put a little bit of work into anyway we got this whole tote full of toys and uh, there's a little Santa Claus guy I got you know he sits up right no matter which way you knock him I thought that might be kind of fun for the dogs to play with the little puppies kind of like a punching bag for them you know uh, I don't know there might be some like vintage stuff in here I feel like one of the kids used to have one of those or maybe we have found that thing in the trash before um, anytime I find like these boxes of little toys like this I always grab them up because I know how it is as a parent you get frustrated with your kids room being dirty and you go in there and you just start scooping stuff up and uh, throw it in a barrel like this, you know, and then you go donate it. A lot of times I find some pretty collectible stuff in these piles of toys like this. Oh, cool. There's some more full, uh, action figures there. There's a Hulk. Some donuts. Uh, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs in there for Lucas. And um, I guess. Our kids will go through there and pick out a toy or two too. I say our kids pretty much just came. Aaron don't really care for toys much anymore. He's more into antiques and whatnot. But uh, the heck, <laughs> that's kind of fun. Whatever that's supposed to be, don't know. So I'll go through that a little bit closer. Some action figures. I just sold my entire collection of action figures, actually. Um, so I guess it's time to rebuild the collection. But there's some cool stuff in there. Definitely some cool stuff in there. And I bet there's some hidden gems as well. Uh, moving around over here to the side, we got this dolly. And uh, the tires are even still aired up on it. Now the other one said it had a broken wheel. It appeared to be a hundred percent intact my assumption is that somebody probably bought these used them to move and then returned them um, there's nothing wrong with them at all the other one is uh, under there we'll take a closer look at it here in just a second I don't know what this is for sure but I believe it to be slides right maybe I'm wrong maybe somebody can fill me in but I believe them to be slides Okay guys, so I'm inside taking a closer look at these things here and I have to tell you I'm not 100% sure yet, but this has the potential to be incredible. Definitely has the potential to be one of the most cool things we've ever found and quite possibly the most valuable. Um, so in this box here, as we showed earlier, it's in each box there's 144 slides. Um, these slides range anywhere from the 50s on up to the very early 60s um, but they're not just home movies and stuff this is actually that's titled Korea um, I mean these people traveled and you can kind of see the manifest there crazy uh, we opened these up and we were going through them and Aaron peeked at a slide and instantly recognized it as um, the Tower of Big Ben, which is incredible from the 60s, you guys. Now, 
cool, yes, valuable, uh, quite possibly. If any of these slides happens to have any historical significance, then things begin to get crazy pretty quick. So there they are. Like I said, there's four boxes of them, and I believe each box has 140 slides in it. Um, it's insane. I'll kind of hold that there, and you can see the title and date and all that for each box. The cool thing about this is, like I said, it's not home movies. It's not that type of thing. It's actually like historical landmarks. Which is what could make this stuff very valuable. Pretty neat. So, If you know anything about this, please let us know in the comments down below. Uh, let us know what you think we should do with these. Where we should take them. Maybe to get them appraised. Um, or crush our dreams and tell us we got nothing here. I don't know. It's fun to think about though. Could be incredible, could be nothing, I guess. We uh, actually got a couple of pretty cool movies and even a couple of video games tonight. Duplex. They're kind of just scattered about back here, but I'll, I'll get them. Um, we actually went back to that dumpster. Um, I don't know if it picked up in the video, but as we were in the middle of digging, a guy actually came out of the door, which was only about 20 feet from the dumpster. So we, were, we booked it, we got out of there. And uh, we decided to go back, uh, I guess about 10, 15 minutes later, and uh, the door was closed, but there was somebody sitting right up against the dumpster, like behind it. I don't know if they were hiding, um, you know, waiting to to jump out and be like, hey, get out of here, you can't dig in the trash. So uh, we decided to just stay away from there and not get told we couldn't come back because that's what you don't want. And over here, I did not find this in the trash. I wish I would have, but... I actually had to buy this. This is for my tractor. We are getting pretty close. I've had to put the tractor on hold um, just because of financial restrictions. But this is one of the last things that I need that I didn't have so that we'll be able to put that thing to work. So I think one of the last things. Pretty sure. But once we get everything going, we'll be able to put it to some serious work and have some fun with it. And that'll be pretty cool. Uh, speaking of finances, I do want to take this time to say thank you very, very, very much. A huge, huge thank you to Doris Schwarzenbach. I hope I'm saying that right. And Rebecca Freeman. Um, they both pitched 50 bucks in our tip jar, um, which is absolutely incredible. Not necessary. You guys don't have to do that, but... When you do, it does take some stress off our backs. We really appreciate that. You'll never find us, Stacy or myself, asking for anything like that at any given time. But I want you guys to know we really do appreciate you. We used that particular money for uh, uh, puppy meds and puppy food because that stuff can be pretty expensive. I appreciate it. Um, we get messages all the time, people saying, I wish I could send you this or I wish I could send you that. You don't have to. Just know that if you're watching these videos in any capacity, you're doing us all the favors in the world. Most of you guys know it, but a couple of years ago, we weren't doing so great. And, uh, you know, it's through you guys that our life has changed dramatically. And um, it's because of those of you guys watching the videos and stuff. So I appreciate all of you. I just want to say that, and I haven't said it in a little while, but I really, really appreciate all of you guys for making our lives better in every way that you do. Anyway, it's getting late in the night. I've still got to edit and get this video uploaded, so I guess we will call it quits on this one. Uh, be sure and join in to the live auction that we do a jewelry specific auction on Thursday, and then anything goes on Friday. And both of those are held at 7 p.m. Central Time, so hope to see you there. Again, thank you guys for everything you do for this family, and we'll be back with another video just as soon as we can. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you.